AbbVie uh, is buying Allergan for $188.24 a share in cash and stock. So that's changing as AbbVie uh, shares move around. It's about $63 billion. Joining us on the Squawk Newsline, Wall Street Journal reporter uh, Jonathan Rockoff. He first broke news of the AbbVie uh, Allergan deal. Have you got a feel, uh, Jonathan, for, for why the premium w was so high? I guess it's nice and friendly, and we all we, we hate arguing and stuff like that, but uh, is it really worth 45% just, just to make it a nice, friendly deal? Well, it is a really nice premium. Um, but remember, Allergan was going to sell for $150 billion to Pfizer not that long ago. There's a lot of value in the company, and I don't think that CEO Brent Saunders was going to take a bad premium to sell off a company with a crown jewel like Botox and other aesthetic treatments. Both companies um, have been looking for new sources of growth, and if the combination provides that, the premium would probably be justified. So is it somewhat, somewhat defensive for, for AbbVie? Everybody, it's the state of the industry for the past 20, 30 years, and that's patent expiration. So Humira, uh, however you say it, that, that is, uh, when does that go off patent? Well, it's already off patent off in patent. Europe, and there are, you know, lower price versions, which we call biosimilars, on sale in Europe. And then Abby has negotiated a variety of deals with different drug makers in the U.S. so that the, those rivals can start selling these biosimilars in the U.S. starting in 2023. So it is defensive in the sense that Abby really needs to find new sales to offset the sales it's going to lose from Humira when it, it um, faces biosimilar competition in the U.S. So what else is, where's the growth with Allergan? I, I, I know that you know, a lot of it is, is cosmetic, but we think Botox. What else? What else is there that, that's so attractive? Well, that's the, that's the challenge that Allergan has faced and why it was probably a, a available for sale is that its Botox and aesthetic medicine business has been doing really, really well. The company also has a variety of other different lines of businesses, gastrointestinal, women's health, um, neurosciences, but it's stumbled to find new drugs, to, find, to discover new drugs that can propel new sales in those areas. And that's why those shares have been off their peak, you know, from the, the Pfizer days, like I talked about earlier. I, yeah, I mean, AbbVie's now down almost $9, so that we're no longer anywhere near. What, what was the price they quoted, 188 or something? Right. That's only 167 now on our again. Is this... Is this worse than they expected? The market check we're seeing right here, is it worse than they're expecting, you think, Jonathan? Um, you know, it'll be really interesting to see how the market responds to the deal because um, strategically the two companies are different. Uh, Avi focuses on specialty drugs like Humira and cancer treatments like Imbruvica, while Allergan is, you know, best known for Botox and these aesthetic medicine treatments. But the deal speaks to just how hard it is for companies of the size of Avi and Allergan to, um, to find the kinds of sales that would drive growth. Um, and that's why I think we're seeing this deal right now. And um, also probably why investors are trying to sort it all out.